Evening guys, MC Procrastinate here for another two minute video as part of the two minute series. If you're not um, seen any of the videos yet as part of this series, click the link below and you'll find out what it's all about. Topic of today, um, MV Augusta. First off, I love MV Augusta as a brand. One of the reasons I bought the Aprilia actually is because I didn't see MV Augusta as a viable um, motorcycle brand to buy anymore because obviously all the financial problems. And you know it's not very well having a bike looks fantastic but you can't get the parts and you don't have the reliability there, well, that's a kind of stoppage right before you even start. Give you a bit of a picture, I owned an MV Augusta. I owned two MV Augustas back in the UK. Um, I actually put picture number one, this is a 2005 model that I had, this is my kids as well. Um, and then I bought a 2007 model, which was two years newer, uh, brand new. Um, look, the, the quality, the finish, the ride, the looks, everything is just absolutely fantastic. The first one I actually had uh, plenty of problems with, but the brand new one I never had any problems with. Um, they were just a fantastic motorcycle. Obviously when I came to uh, New Zealand, um, I you know had pretty much five, six years with no bike again. Um, but before I uh, bought my bikes and before I started realizing that I want to spend more and more money on bikes again, um, you know, MV Augusta came back into the picture and I looked at it, looked at it, looked at it, looked at it. And honestly, I just couldn't overcome this problem of uh, brand in New Zealand, the ability to be able to source parts was a huge problem. And ultimately, I didn't really know what I thought about the MV Augusta uh, 800 models and 600 models. It really, when I, I purchased it, it was just the F4 uh, 1000RR models that you buy and um, or the Brutali versions. And I never, I, I certainly don't really like and the Brutale versions of the Augusta. Anyway, the good news is, right, whilst they've gone through all their problems in the last couple of years, even though they had a 25% uh, share with AMG, Mercedes, they've managed to come right. They've had a cash injection from, uh, I think it's Black Ocean. And they're typically an IT startup company. Uh, they invest in digital business, but they have, um, I mean, read the statement for a month, they have uh, an interest in motorsports and specifically the brand that comes with MV Augusta because I'm not disputing the brand is unique, it's iconic and I think they're holding a lot onto the past but they do make some, and I guess what they say is motorcycle art, it really is, they're probably some of the most beautiful looking bikes out there. Um, Ducati of Ducati were obviously the other Italian manufacturer alongside MV Augusta that had this kind of um, head on head, would it be MD Augusta, would it be Ducati? Uh, Ducati are a bit more bland and generic now, I feel they're still a good looking bike, don't get me wrong, but compared to what MD Augusta has, especially with the Dragster RR they brought out, and you know, some of the limited edition models, F3800s that they brought out, like the, the AGO model, and um, the AMG uh, Deckel stickered up uh, race replica bike. I mean, look, ultimately, MV Augusta uh, have a beautiful bike. Now, what I'd really like to do, now that I know that MV Augusta have a bit more stability, uh, you know, something I would definitely look at is buying an MV Augusta as a second bike uh, in the next couple of years. I might buy an old, perhaps I might buy an old F4, uh, one of the 750s, or I might hold out for maybe an early 2005, 2000, um, RR, maybe a limited edition model. I don't know, look at the end of the day, it's just a, it's a play for idea, but the good news is MV Augusta is here. It's um, producing more bikes. They're revising the F4 model again, because that's kind of been, um, it's, it's, it's not had much investment put into it over, over the period of time, just because they've been focused on their uh, lesser models. So yeah, that's really it guys. Um, MC Procrastinator out.